Hello everyone, welcome back to the itvideos.com. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how we can have ASP.NET and PHP on the same machine, which means on this computer I have IIS 7 as well as Apache server and it will be serving both the ASP pages as well as PHP pages. So I quickly move to the uh, I'm going to first check which server is running at the moment. So I'm going to go to the Firefox and uh, I will type localhost and we'll find out which server is running well it is IIS 7 which is running at the moment so now I'm going to go to the WAMP server okay and uh, I'm going to say start all services because WAMP as we all know stands for Windows Apache MySQL PHP okay and uh, I'm going to see if it is running or not well it is not running so what I'm going to do is click on start all services and it turns from red to yellow and it should turn white well it is not turning white it is not running apache because iis is running at the moment so in order to find out i'll go to apache and then service and then i will test which program is using port 80 and it is saying port 80 is actually used by IIS 7 so what we need to do in order to run Apache or PHP is to shut down IIS 7 so we do that by going to the command prompt I'll just, I'll just type command and the, the command here is to type IIS reset dash stop but it's not going to work because I'll just hit enter and it says X is denied because when you type command you need to right click and say run as administrator that's how it's gonna work okay I'm going to dismiss the old one and on the new command prompt I'm going to type IIS R E S E T reset dash stop and then it's going to stop the IIS and once it is stopped I can now run Apache I'll just say start all services and it will turn white which means it is now working which means Apache is now running okay and if I want to find out port it is used by Apache earlier on it was used by IIS now it is used by Apache because I have stopped the IIS service and this is how the command looks like now to really find out what local host is serving it is serving the PHP it must be serving the PHP pages I'll just, I'll just hold on. so here we are now what I need to do is just hit refresh and it should give us the WAM thing well the WAM server is now running I'll just uh, click on the PHP info to find out what version of PHP we are using it is uh, 5.3.0 maybe we can find out if MySQL server is installed and uh, the details of it work you can find out the details of MySQL right here so folks this is how we do so just a little recap earlier on it was serving the IS that is the ASP.NET pages and uh, when we tried to use the WAMP it didn't work then what we had to do was to uh, stop the IS and then we had to start the WAMP service so that we can serve the PHP pages and now it is running the PHP so I hope you got the uh, idea because sometimes most of the people really get confused how we can have uh, WAMP and as well as uh, uh, IAS on the same machine. Well this is how we do it. If you want to run one service what you need to do first is to deactivate or stop the previous service and then you can run the next service. Okay. So this is how we do it. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please write your comments down below and do rate this video and
don't forget to subscribe because I'll be making more videos in the future. And uh, I just have a good day. Thank you.